Unite for Troops 2017 is on Veterans Day this year. And Cindy Porter has lots of news about this year's events. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. It's always so great to see you. I always love you know, coming with you. Yeah. So you have got so much going on this year. The first big thing that, that I learned was that you are now officially a nonprofit organization. Why'd that come about? Well, we realized that uh, not only through the, t through the years, the uh, number of troops overseas are really grown and the number of people donating to them have really shrunk. Mm -hmm. And they're really wanting uh, supplies from the community. But more than that, our community is wanting to send supplies to them. They are more than happy to do so if they just have an opportunity to find out what do they need, where do I take it, and what can I do to do more. Oh, That's and great. you're here to tell us how to do that. Absolutely. <laughs> well, also, it's not just um, a Christmas thing anymore. People always think of giving to the troops and giving anyways um, during the holidays. But you are expanding the scope. Yes. So the whole purpose is to be able to ship year-round. So I want to be working with anyone, any business, any family um, that would like to either have an event or add us to an event, such as if you have a gathering of any sort for 4th of July, add having your guests bring supplies for the troops. Very nice. And we can start con continuing to support them throughout the year. That's incredible. So you've got sites worldwide now that you're sending to. How many? I have over 30 front operating bases. Now these are the mobile units that are in the worst parts of the world. Wow and they are in the roughest conditions, and wow. we're able to get it directly to their doorstep. That's incredible, Cindy. I mean, what, what you've accomplished since 9-11 to now and, and the way that you've been helping the troops is incredible, and you've managed it in such a fun way. What's happened the day of the event? It's exciting. It's been growing every year, and this is, I wanna make it a point, we only have three employees, we can't do this. This is a community-based right. event. Yeah. Everything is done by the community. Everything is donated. Everything is volunteer. We have an orchestra that's been there many years, complete with tux and choir, and they donate their time every year in two more bands. We have all kinds of food. We have kids' games, activities. All activities for kids are always free because it's all about standing together as a community, what I call we the people. It's when we the people get together that we can be a better connection for our troops past and present. We're going to have a, a helicopter this year Wow. They're bringing that out as a static <laughs> display, and we're yeah. going to have raffle tickets for that for a half-hour ride. And we've got a car show and a Jeep show, and um, uh, more companies are beginning to join us. Classic Chevrolet is bringing out uh, a, a, where they get to decorate cars, and then they're going to race them. And Home Depot is bringing out toys for them to actually build with hammers and they get oh, to keep that. That is, that's going to be yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Then that we also works. have like the scouts, the kids can make uh, Christmas ornaments. Those go in the boxes overseas. That's great. Okay, two things. Um, when, you, when they send the donations, do you need volunteers to help come put those packages together? And um, how big or small do things have to be? Do you have to keep them relatively small or to fit into a certain size package? Basically, it's toiletries and snacks. Okay, right. Everybody, everybody comes out such. is more than welcome to help build the boxes That'd be because nice. that's what we're putting together. Mm -hmm. I ask everybody who comes out, if you can, to bring supplies. It's not necessary to come, but it, those supplies will go directly to them. Well, and it would be nice if they came out and everybody just said, if everybody comes out and does five boxes each, then they'll all get done right away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that big community, We the People effort that right. you guys always do. Tell us the date of the event. It is November 11th, Very and steady. that's Saturday. And this is the first year since 2005 it's been on Veterans Day. So it's going to be a That's really special. special year this year. Well, Absolutely. how do they get a hold of you? How do they know more about this and how can they get involved? You can go to our website at uh, uniteforttroops.com. You can also write a letter on our website. You can donate on the website. It costs $16 to send a box. Nice. And our goal this year is 600 boxes. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But I think if people are listening and really want to help, they, you know, they can get involved in all those ways. Yes. Showing up and giving $16 to send a box. That's great. Right. That's wonderful. Thank you for being here today. So excited to have you. So excited about this year's Unite for Troops. Folks, go to UniteForTroops.com. There's an entire list Cindy's got for you there of the different kinds of things that you can bring to the event and find out how you can be involved all year long. Volunteer. Volunteer.